San Bernards are called gentle giants. They are truly devoted to and caring for their family. Their general affection for humans, eagerness to please, and determination to work have made them superb search and rescue and service dogs. They are often kind and friendly, and love for children is a feature of personality. In this video, I will show you about the giant San Bernard dog. Dangerous breed? Let's jump on it. History and Origin The San Bernard is a legendary Swiss Alps hero. It has been around for over 1,000 years, yet its actual origin is unknown. They evolved from mixes between local Swiss dogs and huge Asian canines brought to Switzerland by the Roman armies. The breed was named after Archdeacon Bernard de Menton, who built a hospice for visitors in the Swiss Alps. The breed was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1885. They have featured in popular culture, such as the Beethoven films and Stephen King's novel, Cujo. Appearance San Bernards are especially ideal for families with well-behaved children, since they are so nice, gentle, and patient. They are known for being kind and patient, and they take care not to hurt a kid. They are eager to please. They may be easier to train than other breeds. Sands are affable and inviting, as befits their origins as hospice dogs. They have a stable, pleasant nature, and are kind and careful towards children. They enjoy attention, but aren't as demanding as some other breeds. Temperament San Bernards have a saintly temperament, as the name suggests. This breed is known for being calm and kind, and is rarely aggressive towards strangers. However, because of their scary size, most people are afraid of these dogs. They are ideal family dogs, yet if the family has small children, the gentle giant may accidentally hurt a small newborn. While they were originally bred to work, they are fairly lazy dogs that require a push when it comes to exercise. Size and weight. The San Bernard is a huge dog in size and stature. Female dogs grow to be 26 to 28 inches tall as adults, whereas males grow to be 28 to 30 inches tall. That frame is supported by a significant weight. Females may weigh up to 140 pounds, while males can weigh up to 180 pounds. What were San Bernard bred for? San Bernards were first bred for rescue efforts by the hospice on the Italian Swiss border, the Great San Bernard Pass. The breed has gained popularity because of stories of Alpine rescues and its large size and kind demeanor. Throughout the years that followed, these San Forefathers were commonly utilized in valley farms and Alpine dairies for a range of guarding, herding, and drafting activities. Are San Bernard good with children? Yes. The San Bernard is renowned to be excellent with children. They are ideal family dogs, yet if the family has small children, the gentle giant may accidentally hurt a small newborn. Even though this is a very sociable dog that gets along well with children, it is not advised that you adopt a San Bernard if you have very small children at home. They are loving and quiet, but they are huge and might accidentally hurt kids. Are San Bernard most dangerous dogs? The San Bernard is not usually aggressive. People are often scared by them owing to their huge size. They usually do not feel anger, aggression, or a desire to harm others. They can be dangerous accidentally, especially to little children. They are typically not harmful if reared in a good household environment from a small pup. Dangerous activities are unlikely to occur with the proper upbringing, training, and avoidance of potentially harmful situations. What do you think about these dogs? Are they dangerous? If you are a San Bernard owner, share your experience here. If I missed any information, let me know by commenting below. Thanks for watching this video. You are invited to watch more videos and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.